Hi, my name is Evan Orr. I'm a NRC student in the Fall 2011 Dendrology course. Triatomentosa, the mockernut hickory, is classified within the family Junglandaceae and is considered a true hickory. It is the most abundant of the hickories and is extremely long-lived, living up to 500 years. Mockernut hickory's range, as shown here, extends from North or New Hampshire west to southern Illinois and Iowa, south to eastern Texas along the Gulf, and east to the Atlantic coast, which includes northern Florida. Mockernut hickory can be found on a variety of soil types, mostly on ultisols, but also on inceptisols, alphasols, and mollisols. In the north, they are found on the drier soils of ridges and hillsides, and not generally in the bottoms or wetter areas. They prefer to grow on deep fertile soils, but are found on sandy soils in conjunction with shortleaf and loblolly pines in the southern parts of their range. They will grow on wet, fine loams and sandy textured soils uh, that often have been burned, plowed, or pasteurized. They require water availability for more than half the year or more than three consecutive months during the grow growing season, and generally won't grow on slopes of 20% or more. Typically classified as intolerant of shade, though they can, during younger years, have some tolerance as they work their way up through the canopy. They will also recover rapidly from canopy suppression and are usually a climax species on most sites. They are extremely sensitive to fire because of the low insulation capacity of their bark. Thus, they can be damaged considerably when fire comes through and may have several large trees with a few smaller trees in a fire-maintained area. They can regenerate through resprouting prolifically and thus can survive browsing, breakage, drought, and fire. As the top dieback occurs, resprouting may take place several times and with each successive resprouting reaching a larger size and developing a stronger root system than the previous. Through these actions, they can gradually grow under moderately dense canopies, especially on drier sites with species less tolerant to drought and fire. Hickories are extremely variable and can hybridize with many North American species. They can usually cross successively with the genu within the genus and can hybridize naturally with pecans and shagbark hickories. The bark as seen here of Coriatomentosa is dark gray and deeply fissured or ridged. Uh, this makes a characteristic diamond pattern of the hickories. The terminal buds are tan after an early loss of their outer scales. They are broadly ovoid, 8 to 20 millimeters, and tomentose. The bud scales are overlapping or imbricated. Uh, axillary buds are protected by bracteoles and fused into the hood. The leaves are pinnately compound, 30 to 50 centimeters, with petioles of 3 to 12 centimeters. Both the petiole and the rachis are here suit. Uh, the leaves can have five, seven, or nine leaflets with blades ovate to elliptic or obovate. Uh, they're not falcate, though. This is what distinguishes them from the pecan. Uh, leaflets are oppositely arranged on the leaf, and leaves are arranged alternate and spiral on the twig. The leaflets are hirsute, as are the twigs and the petioles. These trees are monoecious. The f male flowers are catkins, about four to five inches long. Uh, produced at the axle of the leaves on the previous season's growth or from the terminal buds at the base of the current season's growth. Uh, the female flowers are short spikes on peduncles uh, terminating in shoots uh, of the current year. Flowers bloom in the spring from April to May depending on uh, the location and the weather. Uh, the fruit are solitary or paired and globose, uh, ripening in September and October, and are about one to three and a half inches long with a short neck-like base. The fruit has a thick four-ribbed husk that usually splits from the middle to the base. The nut is distinctly four-angled with a reddish-brown, very hard shell containing a small edible kernel. The seeds are dispersed from September through December. Often mockernut hickory can be confused with pignut hickory and your pecan. Uh, mockernut, as its name states, is extremely hairy, tomentose, and pecans um, and pignut hickory are not. Also in the fall, when their color uh, starts to change, pignut hickory has more of a yellow color, while mockernut hickory will have more of a yellow-orange color. Um, and also the fruits are extremely different uh, between these three. The thick husk of the mockernut, uh, presumably where it gets its name, is much thicker than that of the pig nut or the pecan. As well, they are more spherical or spheric than the pecan and do not have the characteristic pig snout of the pig nut hickory. 
hopefully this will assist you in identifying karyotomentosa in the future, but if you have more questions, here are some references.